what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're on another project so i'm still the same day uh, i've noticed i probably have the same clothes and everything but working on, on a different project last project i did was an exhaust if you want to see that video i'll leave a link somewhere up here so you can take a so you can watch that video but now we're working on the gloss trim i mean or for the most part just the gloss grill the front lip and the deck lid in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the easy one, which is the front grill. And uh, took one out just to see how it is. So I'm about to get to that in a minute. But before we start, guys, thank you so much for your support. Appreciate all the viewers who came back to my channel to watch more videos like these. I hope you enjoy them. So for new viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Wattis Media. And uh, we're currently working on putting everything together in the car look, you know, a little bit better. Um, this is a BMW 335i N54 platform. It's a 2008. It's a, it's a coupe manual. So it's pretty nice, pretty fancy. So I got the old one. This is the old one. And this is the new one. This is actually for more of the F body type grill. So I like this type of grill. So I want to put this on for the car. Um, same gloss black. And um, in comparison, they're pretty much good. This one is pretty clean. This one is getting a little scratched. You know, scratches here and there, paint, discoloration, all that good stuff. So it's on its way out. So we're gonna go ahead and install this and we're gonna remove the second one. So there are multiple ways to get this out. Um, I'm actually taking a shortcut to get this out. One of the reasons, one of the ways you could definitely take it out to be a lot easier for you to go ahead and take the whole front bumper out if you want to but I choose not to. So there's will be some torques. These torques right here, they will be on top. These are T30s, so I remove those. And then from basically, you kind of just pull forward. The bumper is pretty flexible. So it could give in a little way. And all you gotta do is reach back there, like I have with this one. Just reach back there and press down these little clips. Once you press down, you just pull forward and it'll slide out. So I already did all of them except one more. I'm about to do the last one and get it all out. But it's really easy. It's really simple. Not that much. It's not that hard. But just be careful. It is plastic. And if you're planning to reuse these, be gentle because you don't want to break it. Look at that already. So as you can see, this is the new one. It's super nice and clean. Uh, you can see the design is different from this side and uh it looks really nice so you have the old over here oh it's kind of snug there but this is the old one and this is the new one so it looks really nice so let's put the new one in so when you put this on you want to make sure that it's guided into these little holes right here and push all the way in until you hear like a clip sound so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything lines up and then I'm gonna push it in and it'll be nice and secure. And that's that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty nice. Already love the already love the look. It's gonna probably even look even better when it's outside, but it's probably dark in here. But I'm telling you guys, it looks so much better already. Alright, let me see if I can work on the next one. I might just go ahead and start with the rear deck lid. I mentioned in my past video is that uh this has got to go. It's really, really bad. Um, the reason why, because it's pretty much sunburnt out here. I don't know why exactly. Um, but these things are pretty cheap, but I got a new one, exact, exact design. I just want to replace it to have a nice clean look. So we're going to go ahead and take this off.
I made a mark with a black marker to try to have it as middle, like to the line of the BMW. And also when I inspected the corners on each side, the gap is as even as possible. So now um, this double-sided tape, hopefully this is strong enough. I'm just gonna constantly apply pressure on each end, back and forth until it's nice and seated. And um, we should be fine after that. So, um, it feels secure already, but I'm just gonna keep applying pressure to massage it through until um, I'm 100%. But so far, so good. I already love the new gloss black. Fitment is good. I'm really happy. All right, so that was a kind of easy. Getting rid of the glue is the hard part. Um, I use alcohol, let it sit a little bit, and I use this plastic here to kind of scrape off the uh, the old adhesive. Um, then I also use a rag, constantly wiping it off, just getting as much as I can, so it's as clean as possible. All right, so we have the front lip for this car, obviously, gloss black like I mentioned before. Um, so this one is interesting because I have two things that is provided um, from the box, the double-sided tape. We actually have both kinds. Uh, we have the, well, I think, I don't remember. I think this came with the package and uh, this was my personal use. Yeah, but um, I also wanna use this just in case. And uh, I also got something else. I've also received uh, some screws. All right, so really excited all so far. So I use a double side tape to kind of align it to try to make it as flush as possible on the edges going across and uh, try to make it as even as possible. So I only put two screws on each side. Now <clears throat> they have, like I mentioned, screws and washers here that I've used and they actually have a location where they want you to place it so you can see right here that's one there's two over there uh it's another one that's number three and then the other two which I already installed the uh already installed the screws on just to keep it together so there's two outside and two on the other side and there's three in the middle um I'm fortunate enough, it's fortunate enough to still screw the middle because it's, it clears from touching the um, the intercooler. I was hoping it wouldn't and I'm glad it didn't. So now I could just put the rest, one here, one here and one here, and this should keep it together. Now I'm very curious of how long this would last and how sturdy it could be. It's not as flexible as the as I did for the Volkswagen. Um, I'll leave a link to that for the Volkswagen if you're curious about that front lip. But it's pretty sturdy. And um, I haven't even installed all the, the screws yet. I have three more left in the middle. And thus far, I'm very happy with this. <clears throat> so it looks very nice. I think it's gonna look even better when, it's, when I'm done and I put it outside. But let me go ahead and finish the rest. Mm -hmm. 